Hi and welcome to this edition of Out of the Box. My name is Paul. Today we're going to have a look at what is in uh, this box. Probably not totally for the faint-hearted. It was a somewhat bigger than I was expecting. Um, but this is the UACC dash camera dash JB dash W. What is that? It's the junction box for cameras for the ubiquity range in white. So this was quite a shock to one how big it was and two how many pieces were in this. So I'm going to just go through and show you what I've worked out of this so far. All right, and all the little bits and pieces um, that are here that hopefully actually make this work. So they have labeled all of the items. There's a QR code. Interestingly, the QR code is just a QR code to the number. I thought it might take you to the instruction pages, but it didn't. It just tried to ring the number uh, on my mobile, which probably wasn't helpful. So you get a load of different screws. Let's keep adding these as we go along, see if I can hold them all. All right, you get a load of different screws for lots of different cameras and how you're actually going to fit all of those. You're going to get a, uh, a bung um, for um, bringing the cable in from the center. You're going to get an additional uh, locking nut. You are going to get uh, two metal uh, zip ties, if you like, there, and the screws in the bottom for those. You are then going to also get a uh, drilling guide and level. Then you are going to get a number of fitting items. So I think we're just going to get to there, hopefully, when I can show you what I've worked out with this. So this is the item itself. It is not small. All right. It is designed for virtually all of the ubiquity range of cameras to be fitted to it in some fashion or other. It's designed obviously for um, your power cables or your conduit to come in from varying locations as well. So let me just um, hold this up so you can see uh, the center there. As you can see, we've got a, a safety hook. I think they'll probably connect to one of the cameras once you have a camera around. Um, we can bring um, our cable through the middle if we want to. Um, and then, as you can see, we've got um, four entry points. So I can show you those here. Those unscrew. Um, this whole thing uh, is metal. So it's really, really well made. You can see uh, where these are, hopefully, with my fingers not in the way. Here we go um, with here. All right. And then in the middle, we've got this stand here. This will actually fix um, one of the other cameras directly to it as well. So we've got our four entry points. And then we've basically got a standard cover that fits all of that. So you can see it's got, hopefully the lights will just show you um, there. Let me just try and see if I can find a way. You can just see it down at the bottom um, here in the reflection, your cutout. Um, so you would take the, that out. It may just slide out. Let me just try. I don't really want to uh, push it out permanently. I think it does look, it looks like it slide out. That's gonna be your entry point. Um, to allow your conduit to come in once you've taken uh, one of those holes out there. So you're going to mount this to the wall. As you can see at the moment, it's got sort of a soft padding, sort of insulation to help seal it straight to the wall. So you're going to fix that onto the wall. Let's talk about that first. You don't have to fix it to the wall. There is actually a pole plate on here. So this will actually fit through and bolt to those four internal screws there if you're not going to use them to bolt it directly to the wall. And then obviously we can use our metal zip ties uh, through that to then mount that whole thing to a pole if you want to. So one option, all right? That's the, probably one of the easiest ones to maybe explain. Now, we then have our next option. This would be for the G4 dome. Um, the G4 dome will actually fit in here directly. So we actually have this loop here, all right? This loop. Uh, can actually now fit into place in here, on here like this. And then we can insert our cover like this over the top. All right, but what we will have done before we do that is we would have actually fitted the backing plate of the G4 dome. We would have screwed it to this. And then we, once we've got this plate in place, we can actually um, bring our cable through, mount it to the G4 dome, push our G4 dome in place, clip it to its plate at the back, all right, and it's all neatly in place. It might be that you can put this case on, um, the cover on after once after you've fitted the dome in place and then slide that on. Not totally sure because I haven't got one of the domes here, but I do know that these holes here, this is what you're going to fix that plate to. So that's one option for the G4 dome. 
all of the others then actually fit to the outside plate of this. So let's take this one off. All right, and we now get a basically you can fix anything to it plate. I'll let the camera focus. All right, lots of different screw options. Why do you need all those screws? So again, this is just going to clamp into place uh, here. All right, and we're going to put, we're obviously going to bring our cable in from whichever way, whether it's come straight through the middle, well, it's obviously going to come straight through the middle finally, but maybe it's come through one of these side holes or it's come straight through the middle there. And obviously our, our bung that we've got there will be to fill up our, our gap or we can maybe use it for these holes as well. So once it's actually come all the way through, let me just put this uh, carabiner back inside there. We can now put our plate on the outside, obviously punching out whatever we don't uh, need. So let's just put that on. And now we've got our options. We can get the turret camera on here. We can get all of the bullet, the G5s and the G4 roams, domes, the G4 range, the G4 bullets. They will all fit on here. Obviously the G4 dome, we had a different fitment. Well, put that all inside here. Then we've got the G5 bullet will fit on here. We've got the G5 um, dome, I think will probably fit inside because it's pretty much the same form factor. So we'll take that out. And then we've got things like the turret. Uh, the turret, the uh, G5 turret ultra will uh, bolt to the outside of this. Um, and it's big enough here to push through its dongle because you know that now on the G5 turret, it's got the um, ethernet endpoint already cabled into it. So that will go through and you're gonna fit the G5 Dome Ultra, which has a fairly large dongle, that will fit through there as well. That will fit to the front of it. So as you can see, there you go. So just to remind you where you've got the, the dome models, let me just see if I can pull this apart again. Um, where we've got the domes, we're gonna take this piece off. Um, so not the Dome Ultra because that's too small, but if we've got a G5 dome or a G4 dome, that will fit inside there, bolt to these pieces here, and then we can push that cover over the top. So there is a compact version of this as well, which we'll hopefully do a box of opening on very shortly. But if you are wanting um, a full junction box with um, secure mounting, uh, this portion is metal, the rest of it is plastic. Uh, that's ultimately what you're going to end up with um, there fitted together. Hopefully that's been useful. Like I said, this is the UACC camera junction JBW, so the junction box for the camera in white. Head on over to our YouTube channel. Got plenty more box openings on network, firewall and wireless. How to run Unify Protect or Unify Network. Reviews on the cameras and those type of things as well, which I'm sure you'll find useful. So why don't you subscribe and stay up to date?